triple DC read give me 10.37 cents for FY22 Hi, my name is Min Anna. I am a REITs investor uh, who use REITs to build my parents' retirement portfolio. As of recording, uh, I am a Capital DC REITs shareholder. So whatever I'm going to present, please do your own homework and practice independent thinking. Uh, by the end of this video, uh, I just wanted to share with you through this journal of how I reach uh, 10.37 cents for the year uh, FY22. So let's head straight uh, to the juicy parts. I've done my own homework browsing through the investor presentations that uh, Capital DC uh, has published on their website. Um, down here, I'm just going to condense uh, everything into one table right now. Right? So here's where I'm going to put the screenshot. Uh, this table uh, documented the latest six business developments. IntelliCenter 3 is DC, which was uh, subsequently renamed to IntelliCenter Campus, the Amsterdam DC, the Edenhoven Campus, the Guangdong DC, the M1 Bonds, and recently, uh, the acquisition of London DC. So you can see that uh, in the rows, uh, the respective time frames. And inside this table, you see this thing called the word called start. So the start denotes when the acquisition was completed. So let's use an example. Uh, if you look at the second column, Amsterdam DC, uh, the acquisition completed in the quarter four of two zero. So that means that in order to fully recognize uh, this bis new business development into the books of Capital DC, it will take at least a year. So the by the end of quarter four two one, the contributions by Amsterdam DC would have been fully accounted. So using this concept, uh, that is my logical method and systematic framework and step-by-step -step method to determine if Capital DC has declared 9.851 cents uh, at the end of quarter 2-1, right? Can I use this method to determine how what is the estimated amount of dividends I'll get by the end of uh, FY22 from Capital DC. Of course, uh, there are many assumptions behind this uh, calculation and model. First, for example, business operates as usual, uh, no unexpected things, uh, and also no divestment of any existing uh, properties or data centers. Using this method, right, uh, we can see, we can zoom into four business developments, the Edenhoven, the Guangdong VC, the M1 bonds and the London DC because um, these four developments only started since quarter 3 to 1 what I want to say is if we look at Edenhoven campus the completion of the acquisition started in quarter 3 to 1 uh, let's bring our attention to the blue portions you see that at least one quarter of our contributions has been recognized then for the Guangdong right uh, because he only started in the fourth quarter the uh, m1 bonds only started in the fourth quarter and the london dc right it only started in january 2022 which is quarter one of 2022 so i can see that these four business developments right the full effects of his contribution hasn't been accounted and i want to be extra conservative here let me bring attention to the green portions which is uh, what has been shared uh, by Capital DC Read in their presentations of what are the effects on the dividend after the acquisition has been completed so uh, 9.17 cents was the declared dividend amount for FY2020 so it's 9.17 so if Guangdong DC 
acquisition is completed, it is estimated to increase the dividend amount to 9.34 and that's an increment of 0.17 cents. Using that same concept uh, for M1 bonds, uh, that's an increment of around 0.349 cents. Since these four developments hasn't been fully accounted into the books of FY21 and in FY21, we know that the dividend is already 9.851 cents. So naturally, I would have taken those two increments of Guantong, DC and M, the M1 bonds and added those increments on top of 9.851 cents. Of course, uh, there are assumptions which I've mentioned previously. So uh, please do your own homework and practice in band thinking. Those increments that would be added on top of a 9.851 cents rate that would have brought me to 10.37 cents for the full uh, for the financial year of 2022 right I excluded the contributions of Eating Hoven and the London DC so I feel that um, my calculation could be a little bit conservative but I always remember uh, two rules rule number one never lose money rule number two remember rule number one so uh, i feel that i am kind of conservative in my calculations and that is how i arrived at 10.37 cents that could be given by capital dc read in fy22 i hope that the business itself will continue to grow uh, and that's what I wanted to do in this journal, uh, just to share with you my thought process. Uh, if you enjoy my thought process, uh, do let me know in the comments below your greatest takeaway. And if you truly enjoyed the video, uh, smash the like button and so that you can subscribe the channel so that you receive notifications when I do my next uh, business update about Keppel DC Read. So this is where I'll end off and I will see you in the next video.